Software Spring. Presence. How to make a resume for first job. Resume tips for recent computer science or computer applications graduates. The recent graduate dilemma. If you are a recent graduate, you might be facing this dilemma. No job without experience, and no experience without a job. Everyone has to start somewhere. Your goal should be to get your first software job, fast. What can your resume do? Let me ask you a question. Can your resume get you a job? No. Your resume can get you the interview. In the interview, convince the employer, you're the best fit for the job. Use keywords in your resume. Here are three of the benefits of keywords. Keywords help to tailor your resume to each job. Create and sustain the interest of the employer in your resume. Increase the interview prospects. Use this tip on keywords to tailor your resume, for each job you apply. Read the job ad thoroughly, and identify the keywords in it. Then, use the keywords and resume components like objective, skills and educational summary, internship experience, and project work. Resume components for first job. Let's take a look at the building blocks of a resume, for an entry level, software job. Personal info. Objective. Internship or work experience. Project work. Programming languages. Certifications. Software and hardware skills. Education. Membership in professional associations. Volunteer work. Here is a tip, pertaining to the resume components. Keep in mind that resume components, and their order of presentation, are not static. So, what should you do? Shuffle the resume components to prioritize. Use job description, and your skills, as the basis. Give top priority to the internship experience. Substitute project work for internship, if you do not have internship experience. List certification, if any, then programming languages. Okay, let's take a look at each of the resume components. Personal info. Give your info like name, mobile number, email ID, Skype ID, and address, in that order. If you wish, you can give your address in the footer of your resume, because most employers would like to contact you by phone, or email. Objective. Make sure the objective is employer-centric, and not, applicant-centric. Read the job ad thoroughly and then write the objective, to match it with the needs of the employer. Employer-centric objective, an example. Java programmer seeks an opportunity, to contribute her extensive Java programming experience, gained through the internship, freelance projects, academics, and training. Folks, here is a tip you should use, when you begin to write your resume, for your first software job. Increase your interview prospects, with a skills and educational summary component in your resume, in addition to, or instead of, the objective section. Skills and educational summary, an example. In-depth Java programming experience, gained through an internship in a global software company, freelance projects, and project work. Well conversant with OOP, and SDLC. BE in computer science, with distinction. Diploma in Machine Learning Internship or Work Experience Before you write this section, read the job description in detail. Note down the keywords in the job ad. Example, C++ Programming, OOP Concepts, and SDLC. If you have internship experience, write down all the info, particularly about your work contribution. Of course, you should also have info like your job title start and end dates, and the company name and location. Be sure to use action words like designed, led, managed, tested, and wrote, to describe your internship experience. Now, describe your work experience, using the keywords you noted down earlier, where possible and feasible.
Work description with keywords, an example. Designed and implemented automated material handling systems, for warehouses, using Java. Conducted quality checks, for compliance with software development life cycle, SDLC, standards. Project work. No internship experience? Use your project work experience, to strengthen your resume. Project description, an example. Wrote Java code, for cloud data storage auditing, using identity-based cryptography. Generating a new private key, and updating it, is at the core of the user authentication in the system. Let me give you a tip on project work description. Be sure to describe your role in the project work. Did you write the code? Which programming language did you use? Or, did you test the software system? Strongly highlight your contribution to the project. Programming languages. List the programming languages you have used. Be sure to mention first, that required by the job. Certifications. List the certifications you may have earned, such as the Oracle Java certification. Don't have any certification? Replace certification, with training, and list any related training. No certification or training? Don't worry. Just skip this section. Software and hardware skills. List your software and hardware skills. Again, be sure to give priority to those skills, required by the employer. Education. In this section, give the year you earned your degree, its name, college name, and percentage or GPA. Membership in professional associations. Are you a member of institutes or societies like IEEE, CSI, or STC? List them in this section. Volunteer work. Volunteer work matters. If you have done it, be sure to mention it in this section. This work can make your resume brighter. When you make a resume for the first job, be sure to make your skills and education, that matches with the job needs, stand out. All the best. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.